Hello, welcome to my channel. This video is another of the series on muscular disorders. In the previous weeks we have discussed about acquired myopathies, while now we will start with congenital myopathies. If you missed any of the previous videos, you can find them all together in the playlist on muscular disorders. In this video I have collaborated with Luisa Fernanda Rios Valencia, who is a vet student in Colombia and I found a drawing on uh, veterinary medicine in her Instagram page that you can see here. Her drawings are very nice and also very useful and I will leave you the link uh, in the description of this video. So the drawing that you will see in this video is not done by me but has been done by Luisa. And now let's start. In this video I will speak about polysaccharide storage myopathy, which is a disease characterized by an excessive storage of sugar in the form of glycogen in the muscular cells of horses. Luisa and I decided to associate it to a sweet sugar unicorn so that it would be easy to remember. This excess of polysaccharides is due to a mutation of the glycogen synthase gene. It's a disease that is transmitted by autosomal dominant inheritance, whose homozygotes are more severely affected. Not all cases with excess of glycogen in muscle fibers present this mutation, so the disease has been divided into two types. Type 1 is when the mutation is present, while type 2 is when there are polysaccharides in the fibers but there is no mutation. The genetic mutation has been found in particular in quarter horse, warm blood and draft horses. Ok, so what happened in these horses? The excess of glycogen in muscle fibers impairs the oxidative metabolism of substrates such as pyruvate and fatty acids to use the formation of lactate and citrates. Fibers most severely affected are type 2. Some horses may be asymptomatic, while others may present recurrent episodes of stiffness and muscle pain associated with exercise. Signs most common in warm blood and draft horses are poor performance, chronic muscle pain, fasciculations, weakness and loss of muscle mass. During an acute episode, muscular enzymes may be high, but they are usually normal at rest. But with an exercise test, it's possible to identify a threefold increase in CK four hours after the exercise. Muscular biopsies will allow to detect this abnormal excess of polysaccharides, but not to distinguish between type 1 and type 2. As type 2 fibers are those most severely affected, muscular biopsies should be performed of gluteal muscles or semimembranous and semitendinosus. Glycogen in muscle fibers will be evident with periodic acid shift stain. For the diagnosis of type 1, there is a genetic test that can be performed on blood in a DTA or air roots. For the treatment of acute episodes, you can have a look to one of my previous videos following the link that appears on top. What is important is that it's not recommended to leave at rest these horses for prolonged periods to use long-term management include diet and programs of exercise. In order to decrease the amount of glycogen in the muscle, diets with low starch and sugar content are recommended. It's also important to maintain regular physical activity and minimize the days of rest. With this management, 70-75% of cases improves and may come back to satisfying levels of performance. Ok, that's all. If you liked the video, press like and if you want to watch more videos, subscribe to the channel. Bye!